Howdy folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make your very own steam bent window frames for your camper van. If you haven't done so already, you're going to need to make a steam bending box. I'll leave a link in the description for a video I made on a full tutorial on how to make this exact box. Ideally, you'll want to be using timber with a high moisture content for this project. I was using kiln dried wood, so I left it to soak for a week with a splash full of fabric conditioner. Hardwoods are preferred to softwoods for this process, and I'm using oak that's 5mm thick. Having left the steam box to heat up for around 20 to 30 minutes, I then go ahead and place my first oak strip inside. These were cut to around 45cm in length, and as I say, are about 5mm thick. Having given the oak about 45 minutes to an hour to absorb all the moisture, it'll be ready to withdraw. Be sure to wear some heat protection and you can go ahead and clamp it to your former. Now the window frame is going to be made out of four pieces as opposed to one single piece, so hence the smaller former to begin with. This is just going to help us achieve our initial 90 degree bend. The timber will be most malleable in its first minute or so, so it's good to act fast. I'm using plenty of clamps as well as this metal banding behind the timber to support it and prevent it from splitting. If the process doesn't work right away, you can place the timber back into the steam bending box for a longer period of time. Alternatively, you can try a different species of timber or even try cutting it to a thinner depth. Once we've left the timber to dry for a day or two, we can go ahead and unclamp it. There'll be a slight bit of spring back, so it's always good to account for this when you're creating your former. As you can see here, the metal banding is reacted with the oak and left a little bit of a black marking. This isn't a problem though, as the installation will hide this. I'll repeat this step for all four pieces, and then once complete, we can go ahead and make a plywood template of our window frame. I'm using a forstner bit here to create some holes for our clamps to later clamp the timber into. We can now see how the timber fits and we can go to the mitre saw and chop any pieces of timber down that may be too long. We can now go ahead and just simply butt our pieces of timber together. All I'm using is some wood glue and plenty of clamps to hold it in position. Now that the entire frame is being held in place, I can go ahead and provide some additional support to those butt joints. If you look on the right hand side here, you can see I've simply clamped and glued in some additional wooden support across those joints. Having given it 24 hours to dry, I can remove all the clamps and then go ahead and knock the template out. The sliding door window has a curvature of its own. So I've simply scribed that onto the frame and now I'm just cutting it off with a jigsaw to make it nice and flush. As you can see, I've installed four buttons around the window. This is so that when we insert our window frame, we have something to install it to. Speaking of, we can now go ahead and use a Forstner bit to create a small hole in the side of the window frame. We'll be placing eight screws in, in total, so we'll be making eight holes. You can then take your countersink bit countersink the hole and then your screw will sit nice and flush within the frame. Later we'll cover the screw heads with some wooden dowels to give a really nice finish. Now going to go ahead and complete the cladding around the window frame. As you can see some excess timber is sticking out on the inside but this is going to be routed out shortly. Course, I've just whacked a couple of clamps here and um, it's quite hard to get this curve in contact with the oak frame so put a load of glue in there and we're just going to let that set and then we'll do this final piece. So we're almost there now but I really like to clean up those edges. For this I'm going to use a router bit which has a bearing at the end to guide it around the window frame. 
Simply let the bearing follow around the oak window frame and this will then cut off the excess cladding. As I mentioned earlier, and this is completely optional, I'm going to add dowels to all of my screw heads. If you'd like to do the same, you'll need a dowel or plug cutting kit just like this one. Simply place the plug cutting bit into your drill, take the relevant timber that you'd like to create the dowel from, and use the drill to cut it out. So once you have all your dowels cut, it's simply a case of applying some wood glue and pressing them in place. You can then go ahead with a sander and sand these flush to the window frame. Whilst you're at it, you can also go ahead and sand all of the cladding at the same time. Once this is done, everything's complete and you have yourself a lovely steam bent oak window frame. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I hope to see you again soon and happy travels.